Hello, folks. We're going to go a little bit early. I'm just opening up the, the stream yard a couple minutes early, get people in. If anybody sent me a registration and you want to be able to bid, make sure that I know you have a registration so that we can get you queued up. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Janine. Hi, Mr. Brian Maroney. I don't know what I walked into. All I see is that Alan wants to play with Kathy. Uh, but, hey, it's cold outside. We, may, we always recommend playing with a partner instead of playing with yourself. Makes all games much more fun. I am just getting Pam set up here. And, and then, we will be underway. We have 24 here. Thank you guys for coming in. We do appreciate it. As always, we're going to have some fun stuff. Bingo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely want more than one person to play bingo. Hello, Mr. Jim Episal. Kathy, I'm going to do some... Uh, some silver pretty shortly. Like once we get a few people in the room, we'll do some silver. Hi, Tamara. Hello, Rise Up. Like I said, generally I call you by your YouTube names. It's just because those are the ones I see on the screen. <coughs> oh, sorry. And then we will be... About ready to go, just give us about two minutes. Pam's doing the pee pee dance and she'll be here. Hello, Mr. Christopher Chatworth. Chris, it looks like we're gonna be buying a couple hundred, maybe a thousand carded action figures very shortly. So those will be coming to the auction. <laughs> Good luck card hoarders. We won't let the man hold us down. We talk how we talk. We do what we do. It is what it is. And we, you know, wash the table nicely. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so Pam is here. So we'll get underway. If you guys sent me a registration and you want to be registered for the auction, make sure you comment over in the chat so that we can give you a cute little blue wrench so that we know that you are not a troll. You did, Chris Yardin. We will possibly be buying, what, roughly about a thousand figures he said he had. So. He has more stuff coming, too. There you go, Chris. I just gave you a, uh, a wrench. I'm guessing you're on a different computer. If you guys don't know, Mr. Chris Yard and Crispy Toys has a TikTok. He does the tickety talk channel stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do some uh, some Pokemon, a few lots. We'll get those up and running. We'll see whatever Pam puts on my table. That's what we're gonna sell. We have huh, a bunch of different stuff. We're almost done with all the miscellaneous glass and porcelain and that type of stuff, which means then we can get into the stuff that I enjoy selling. And enjoy packing and shipping to you guys. So let's get started. I know we're still a little light on how many people are in here, but that's okay. Susie Q, while you're here, if you can do me a favor, make sure that you send me an email with your email address and your information. Because I believe we have a, a lot over on the other side for you, but I could not find an email to send you an invoice. So if you could please make sure you do that, that would be awesome. I just haven't been asking T because she's been pretty busy with her huge storage units. Hi, Kathy. Oh, it's Stacy. Okay. Stacy, yeah. Okay, I'll make a note. So I got you. made a note. I got you. No you. problem. 
I like to send everybody's invoices, and some people are different on YouTube, so I thought I had everybody. But no worries. Okay, so first lot up is going to be this miscellaneous lot of interesting mixed media stuff that Pam put over here. This is probably stuff that I had at Amazon at some point, and whenever I had that snafu and clicked the wrong button, got a bunch of weird stuff back. So Clifford Jordan Quartet, so blues, jazz, era CD. It should be like new. Uh, $10 start, guys. $10, that is shipping is included. Okay. This one is sealed, the day the world broke. I'm not sure if this is a old secret hidden answers in a little time. I'm guessing this is a game because it says graphic adventure game. So this is a sealed PC game. We have... A set of the five Doctors Collector's Edition of Doctor Who. I guess these are VHS. This is factory sealed as well. We have a Sim Ants Classics. So if you want to play Sims but be an Ants uh, for your PC. Back in the day when we had floppy disks. I guess that was a hard disk. It was a three and three quarter inch hard disk. It's a kind of interesting but vintage game. So $10 start. There's more to this lot, obviously. There is a Town Square's Miniatures Dollhouse Furniture. So these are two upholstered chairs with pretty pink roses and flowers. There's a footstool, two side tables, a coffee table, and a couch with this lovely pattern on it. We have a toy, a toy fair from Wizard Entertainment Group, The Invasion. Who is this? Captain Picard. So it is a Jean-Luc Picard action figure in the box. And let's see, we're getting we're over 50 people. We'll just so we have all of that stuff. And then last but not least in this lot is this awesome Big Brother in the Holding Company with Janice Joplin. 900 Nights. This is a DVD. It is factory sealed see right there so it's probably a concert but it is cool because it is big brother and holding company with janice joplin so that's what you're getting in this lot nice little lot okay we have jrk in at 12 dollars oh him just gave me a blue bonnet sue doll so this is probably from blue bonnet um it's a butter, blue bonnet butter. Yeah. Uh, little advertising plushie. That's going in there. Wait, it's out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Pam said she wanted to put Susie with the ants. Mara, fifteen. So we're at fifteen dollars with Mara. I agree. Janice Joplin was amazing. And then today, guys, we're going to have some of the old... Actually, I'll do one right away. We'll do one early on just to kind of make it fun for everybody who's here, reward everybody who comes in early. We'll do an album of 1800s photography. Let's grab an album. I'll look at it whenever I show it to you guys. That way it's a surprise. It's a surprise for all of us. <clears throat> I have a rock and roll poster. We have silver. We're going to have some Pokemon cards. We're going to do the Redline Hot Wheels. So Chris Yurden, if you're still in the room, we're going to do a carded Redline Hot Wheels from 1967. We have Chris Chatworth in at 25. Chris, I hope you're feeling better. I know you were down for the count for a little while, but glad to see you back around. Hi, Jabbies. Hello, Susanna. Oh, Susanna. Oh, what you cry for me? Come from Alabama. The banjo on my knee. Chris Chatworth in at 30. Tamara's out. Thank you for your bids, Tammy. But we're going to do crazy stuff. If you guys watched the Pokemon video, 
we showed you guys, there was a few cards in there that other people have got astronomical five figure numbers for. We're actually just going to throw them in a lot and they're going to get sold. And that's the gamble we take. So we have 30 with Chris Chatworth. Chris, I have you in at 30. You are currently the high bidder, I think. Oh, didn't mean it. Okay, no problem. No problem. So we have Chris Chatworth in at 30. Let's go ahead and start calling it down. We're going to do these fast. We're going to do them fast, fast, fast. If we get down to two bidders, those two bidders will be the only ones bidding. If someone else is going to bid, make sure you throw your hat in the ring early because once somebody says out and it's only down to two people after the auction has ran its course for a little while, if we're doing an item and it takes a while, we're just going to announce it. That way we can pop through maybe an extra five lots in a day. <laughs> don't worry, Tamara. I'm sure that I can hook you up. I don't know where, but I know I have boxes of doll furniture somewhere. I made a note, Tamara. Okay, sold lot number one. And again, everybody, I do really appreciate everybody being here. Whether you're bidding, not bidding, just hanging out, having fun. You know, if you have a channel and you want us to mention it, if I watch you, I will happily do so. If I don't watch you and someone else does, they are welcome to to recommend you to the crowd. Okay, so let's do this. I have no clue why. I think the leather split, I think there originally was a leather coating on top of this because it's metal. And the... Okay. Brian Shemaine, yes. Yep, can wrench Brian Shemaine. He's one of our regular customers over there on Facebook. Welcome, Mr. Shemaine. As you guys can see on the back, it looks like an artist palette. Um, I haven't opened this yet, so we're going to get to see what's in here together. Okay, a lot of these photos are actually identified on the backs, uh, so you're going to get the entire album. I know we're missing Kathy Bauer, who bought the one yesterday, but like I said, we're going to reward you guys for being here early. We want people to get good deals and everything else, so there are. I'm going to just do a quick count, and then we'll go through and recap. Anything that I see special, uh, $15 start. There are two. These are 1860s to about 1890s, early 1900s cabinet photos. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We'll find two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, 26, 27, 28, 29. 30, 31, 2 through 3, 34, 35, 36 or 7, 38 through 9. This one's full. 40, 41, 42 for 3, 44, 45 for 6 or 7, 48 for 9, 50, 53. So there are 53 images in here. I'll show you guys something that's kind of cool. So they're mostly all cabinet photos. This one is a 10 type. It is actually on 10 in here. It is on 10. Mid to late 1800s. I love some of their outfits and like the furniture that they're sitting on. You can see like this pocket watch chain. Oh, is she? Nice. So this one has 51 photos. And some of them are really cute. Let's see the little scared boy. He's like, I didn't do it, Papa. I did not. But I love his collar. If you look, it's like all hand-done lace on the trim. Hi, Rebecca Howe. Hi, Sour Patch. <laughs> yep, you can wrench Rebecca. Kathy in a six feet. $5 increments now. Yep, $5 increments above 50. This does include shipping. There are 51 images in this album. So you have all the smaller ones, which are the back, and then we go into the bigger stuff, which is always 
has neater cards. Uh, if I can get them out of the little sleeves. Matthew Bell is barely in at 55. So like this one here, you can see this is the photographer, D.B. Vickery. Kathy Bauer in at 75. From Haverhill, Massachusetts. I love her hat. It looks like feathers. Some of the fashion was just really cool. Matthew in at 80. Kathy at 100. This one, the lady has this really awesome cameo brooch on. Kind of scary looking to me, but. Suzanne Chronicles, they, there's a lot of amazing books. Wait till you see some of them. Yeah, there's like 200 albums. They're really beautiful. We haven't even looked. I've only looked at the ones that I showed you guys in the video and the ones that we're doing here in the auction. I haven't even opened the boxes. I Dames and Hayes, Market Street. Not sure where this is. Maybe San Francisco, Market Street, SF. Yes, we do, Kathy. Yep, San Francisco. 715 Market Street. This is the back of the card. I think the backs are just beautiful in some of them. Awesome. Got our first Benjamin. Thank you. But like I said, there's 51 cards in here. Uh, there's some that have really cool guys with mustaches. Um, there are some that are identified on the back in a lot of these albums. This one, I know that some people like whenever I point this out, and some people don't, but I am not sure she might be Cuban or African American possibly but she has a beautiful brooch and earrings it used to be very expensive to get your photograph done this is an awesome chair piece of furniture this is probably a husband and wife this album's held up very well over 120 some years it's a little split in the paper right there. So I'm trying to get the, the photos to slide out so that I can show them to you. Come here, photograph. Okay, maybe you're not going to... Oh, no, nope, nope, you're going to get to see it. Because I'm persistent. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Okay, that one you're definitely going to get to see because it's... The paper split on the other side. She does not look happy. I bid with Kathy Bauer at one point. And this one is J.G. Parks, photographer, and they made stereoscopic views from Montreal, Canada. So in photography, some photos have sold for millions for single photos by famous photographers. If you can figure out who the subject matter is, like who the person is, or if you can figure out who the photographer was, a lot of times that's a huge variance in value. I like this one here, the man and woman together. Okay. Okay, so we're at 120. We're looking for 130 or more. I'll finish flipping back through quick, and then we can call it out for Kathy. This one's awesome. She's actually got a scrapbook or a little photo album because you can see the pictures inside of it, holding it on the table she's holding. Cute girl with glasses, little kid's family. Trying to show you all of it. It's got a great beard. I know one of them I saw, it said General somebody's name, and so it would have been at least Civil War, maybe earlier. He's got a derby hat, awesome mustache. So some beautiful photos. Like I said, there's 51 images in the book. And it has this awesome metal latch right there that clips. But like I said, the front leather has split off. That's why I'm just kind of keeping them all together for you guys. Say what? Any what? Music box album. Mm, I don't think so. I don't know. Literally, I bought a pallet of over 10,000 photos. And I made a video, showed three albums and two shoeboxes out of the entire thing. 
So we are at one hundred and twenty dollars with Kathy Bauer on this awesome lot. So anybody who knows anything about genealogy, a lot, like I said, yesterday's album, almost every photo is identified. So, and I know we did see Pabst, the guy from possibly Pabst Beer, his family. Sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Okay, next lot up. We're going to do some vintage hats. This is a... Vintage, almost reminds me like the Russian hats. It has a union-made label inside. Uh, I don't know if there's any other labeling. Ooh, dusty. Has a feather on the side of it. So you have that hat. $10 start. That is shipped to your door. $10 start. This one is Hopkins, Fifth Avenue. Oh, this one's cool. This is an L.L. Bean. From Freeport, Maine, made in England hat. This is extra, extra large. A LL Bean felt hat. We have a Lee, I would call it like a sun bonnet denim hat. We have a crocheted kind of hat. This is from Hess Brothers here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. It's an old store. So you, you have your head in there like that, and it drapes over a woman's hair and gets tied. We have this mesh style, uh, is it called a pillbox hat? I don't know. All I know is none of these, will, none of these look good on me. Here is another very early, probably 20s or 30s hat with a mesh that would go down over the woman's face and then here is a, another this one had is velvet i believe it is lip brothers millinery salon philadelphia pennsylvania Rebecca, have two, two dollar increments. yep we have two dollar increments up to fifty dollars five dollar increments above fifty to a hundred and ten dollar increments above that just keeps the auction moving and shipping is always included. Yep, shipping is included with your bid. So there's a little hat pin there as well. Okay, so you get one. Oh, I get confused to reuse these boxes. Okay, so it's one. With Rebecca Howe. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hats. Eight hats shipped to your door, vintage clothing. Driftless is probably bidding 14. He, on Facebook, you put a letter in front oh. because some of the bids don't show up. On YouTube, we don't have that problem, so you can just use a number. But yeah, on Facebook, you usually have to put the word bid or a letter. Okay, gotcha. So we have MI Baby in at 20. We have Brian Roney in at 30. <laughs> yes, that does look like India. It's L.L. Bean. It's really cool. It's an early L.L. Bean hat. <laughs> so we have 30 with Brian Roney. Rebecca is out, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm just happy that Rebecca came over to YouTube. So we have Baby in at 32. Two thousand twenty one is gonna be awesome, everybody. It's gonna be great for our YouTube channel. I'm gonna to try to grow to at least five thousand subscribers. I have a goal of ten thousand by the end of the year, but I would be happy with five thousand subs. Cause I do want to make this my primary platform. We want to stop listing altogether online and just bring everything to auction because a three to five day turnaround time is much better for us. By Brian, you can already messed it up. We haven't even started it yet. <laughs> Driftless is out. <laughs> okay, so we have MI Baby in at 32. Any advance, guys? 
Yep. Quit eBay. That's what we're trying to do. I mean, obviously, I have 165,000 listings, so I just won't add more to it. Okay, sold, sold, sold. Congratulations. Thank you for your bids. Okay, I have this. It's kind of on top of everything else in my way, so let's do this one. This is a original concert poster for Fugazi. This was from Denver, Colorado in 2001. It is done by Lindsey Kuhn. It is hand signed by Lindsey Kuhn right there. It is numbered on this side. It is number 187 of 230 made. It is large. There is, you can see a little bit of water staining here, but you don't notice it too much until you actually stare at it. Like here on the camera, you can actually see it pretty good right there. It has a little bit of waviness, $10 start. That is shipped to your door. It is a huge poster. It is almost 40 inches long by – 26 inches tall. No, I haven't got any of these graded yet. I did flatten and keep one of each poster for myself. But other than that, I have not done much of anything other than sell them. And some we are out of. Like, Hi, Don Tiger. We already have a ten dollar bid. You would have to come in at twelve. Yep. So we we have ten dollars looking for twelve. My queue messes everybody up because they get confused. Yep. And Driftless, just so you know, on YouTube, you don't have to put a letter in front of it. Everybody seems to be able to see them over here. They don't have the problems that. That you are that Facebook has. Twelve was like on Tiger. Yeah. So we have Driftless in at fourteen. Okay. We have Zygon in at twenty. I do like the skater on it though. And there's what's really interesting is inside of the center of the skater's chest is a round circle with a cross. It's really interesting. It's like, almost like a crosshairs. This is our normal time every day, Rebecca. Tuesday yep. through Thursday, one to four. Yep, one to four, Rebecca. I do it because there's a lot of other people who run in the evenings and at night, and it just makes it where I'm not stepping on anybody else's toes. It's kind of my time slot. If other people come in during this time, you know, that's on them. I don't feel bad. <laughs> okay, Mountain Man Treasures in at 22. Hey, Mountain Man. And thank you very much. I saw he gave us a shout out on his channel when he was doing some unboxing and stuff like that. We appreciate that very much. If you guys haven't checked out Mountain Man Treasures, he does have an awesome channel here on YouTube. So you guys should go over there and watch some of his videos, learn some interesting facts. <laughs> Kathy, you don't want to do that because I'm, do, uh, I'm going to do some silver next. <laughs> we're going to do some silver and then I'm going to do another photo album for you guys so we have Mountain Man in at 22 is everybody else out yep we got lots of photos for today yeah, I know, Jim. <laughs> Chris, you gave me a shout out. Oh, nice. Thank you, Chris. I actually did see your shout out. I saw it. Uh, he did a video from here at the warehouse on his tickety sock. 25. We have 25 with Matt Conlin. Yeah, Anthony, um, I have a lot of stuff for you still over here, just so you know. I might not have sent him an invoice because I think I had to ask T for his email address. Okay. Anthony, just uh, send me your email address so that I can make sure that the email address I got from T was the right one. I just saw it when we were moving stuff. 
<laughs> I like him. Oh, yeah. I'll, we'll sell anything. Uh, me too. Well, <laughs> you can't say that. I saw what that one guy offered you. Shut up, Dick. You were like, no. Hi, Joe at the mix. Joe Silvis. Joe, did you get my reply to your message? Just uh, send me all your info for your registration. I know I have you on, on Facebook, I believe, but we're trying to keep the two a little separate. Cajun Roots reseller send Saturday at 2 p.m., guys. Susanna and Cajun Roots will be having an auction at 2 p.m., so make sure that you guys check them out. It will be on Cajun Roots channel on YouTube. Uh, Bruce. Um... I might. Let me, uh, we'll get through the glass and stuff. So towards, maybe towards the end of the auction, 3.30ish, if you want to stop in, I'll see if I can find some 1800s maps. And I have government reports from 1805 to 1905. So I have a bunch of that type of stuff. Sold, sold, sold. Sold to Matt Collin for 25. Hi, Kiki. Okay, so let's, I promised somebody some silver, so let's do some silver. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have a Morgan dollar. It is, what year is this one? 1887. So it is a silver dollar. This one is an O for New Orleans. So a Morgan silver dollar, $10 start. We are out of half dollars. Sold you guys all of those. Painting and painting, uh, when we ship, um, when we print the label, you should receive an email. Yep. Yep. As soon as the label is printed through uh, PayPal, it will show on your invoice that it's shipped. Our post office has been really slow. So if you're waiting on something, it is definitely at the post office because we have no awaiting items to be shipped. We have a mail pickup every day around one o'clock. So silver dollar there. You know what? Do we have any bids? Yep. Okay. Okay, so there's two. You get two Morgan dollars. Two Morgan silver dollars in 1887 and in 1888. Both of them are O's. Rebecca, usually about 25 lots, roughly. Yeah, 25 to 30. It depends how fast things go. Kathy at 30. So you're getting two silver dollars, two Morgan silvers. Kathy corner at 49. On the 1887 and the 1888. Treasure hustlers at 50. I have to be at 51. If, yeah, treasure hustlers, you need to be at yep, 51. Yep, two dollar increments up to 50. So if there's a bit of 49 and you bid 51, you're good. But after that, it has to go to 56. Five dollar increments above 50 to 100. What? Come on. It's always posted since he's been on. What? Yeah, then block him. That's easy. Let's go right here. Well, actually, we'll do it in StreamYard because then I can block him as a person on the site altogether. Block user. See you, Colton. <laughs> Have a nice day. Whether you're a real person or not, you're not going to spam in my chat. Out. <laughs> you gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, so two Morgan dollars, both of them are silver, 1887 and 1888. Both of them have the O marking, New Orleans. 
<laughs> the only Colton I could think of was Redneck Resale, but he's... I don't think that's him. <laughs> nice, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> what? Besides the yeah. <laughs> yeah, one comment's fine, but you know, if you're gonna spam, uh, we're, we're at 61 with treasure Oscar. Our bouncer Pam will politely show you the door because she's big and bad. <laughs> you ever seen a 120 pound woman whoop up on Andre the Giant? <laughs> That's Pam. Let me take this out of your way. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Pretty bird. <laughs> Pretty bird. I like the, the patina on this one. This one must have never been cleaned, and somebody's probably climbed, tried to clean this one. Tapping corner at 56. All the info you just requested, I emailed you, Joe. Okay. Thank you, Joe. I think that is Joe from Facebook. <laughs> what, is our chat enter entertaining you today? Yes, it is. Nice. I love your people. <laughs> <laughs> Sold, sold, sold to Kathy's corner for 56. Oh, nice buy, Kathy. That's a good buy on those two. Okay, let's do another cool photo album. Pam set another one over here. I think this is a different one, right? Yes. Okay. You already moved the other one over there? Oh, I see it. Never mind. Okay. So this one was a red velvet, had red velvet flowers on it at some point in time. You see album. Uh, this one's from Warrington, Georgia. So, Rebecca Howe, I know you're from Georgia. So, there's Warrington, Georgia. She loves Georgia stuff. That one does not say who it is on the back. kind of actually looks like Rebecca, I think, a little bit. Hi, Kyle. Then we have, this one is Sandersville, Georgia, the little baby. And it is marked Eddie Stabler, I think is the name. Astro Cabinet, 1892, it's dated. This one is Whitehall Street in Atlanta, Georgia, done by C.W. Motes. There may be a name on the back of that. He's got a great beard. Here is another one of that C.W. Motes from Atlanta, Georgia. And this one has a whole bunch of information on it. Hair, light brown, eyes dark blue. See him fair, rosy cheeks. Mark roll of Featherman, a throw. You and make flew from. I cannot read the rest of this. Yeah, barn of. Yeah, I can't read it all, but. A lot of information on the back about that, that young lady. Oh, image cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do a photo cap. So one, two, three, four. So far, those are all from Atlanta or from Georgia. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. No, Susan, going to come up to Massachusetts for the estate sale yet. Nope. I made them an offer, so we're waiting to hear from them. They got an extension. So this is in Sandersville, Georgia. J.H. Farmer. Rebecca, oh, Farmer. Benjamin. Awesome. Thank you, Rebecca. Kathy Bauer at 120. I wonder if it says anything on the back of that one. Nope. Rebecca Howe at 150. So, so far, it looks like 
This one is Art Studio Farmer and Johnson. So that one is also from Georgia. This one is from Augusta, Georgia, the Augusta Photo Company. And it says Bigelow is the guy's name. Not Deuce Bigelow, but Bigelow has a cool back on it. So it seems like a good majority of them are Georgia. This one's Sandersville, Georgia, dated 1892. It's a little kid on the wicker chair. This one is Scarborough, is the photographer from Sandersville, Georgia. This one is South Spring Street. This one's Los Angeles, California. So there's one that is California. It's got like the old metal like ice cream shop. One fifty for a bucket house. This one's Milledgeville, Georgia, for Fairfield and Son. This one's really cute. Look at this kid's face. Why? Why me? He's got like a little military hat next to him. Last call for alcohol. This one's got Uncle Sammy on it. Good old Uncle Sammy. I can't tell if this is a girl or a guy, but they've got the key to the chastity belt right here. That one's Zach. So very cool. So nice little album. Okay, count it down. Yep, yep, yep. Back to the only one in. Okay. One fifty. We are at one fifty with Rebecca Howe. It seems like everything except for one was from Georgia. So we're at 150 with Rebecca. Just tell me when it's sold and I'll stop flipping. Okay, sold to Rebecca. Congratulations, Rebecca. You guys are having fun with these, so. Pam's like, they like these albums. Here, let me just throw more in front of you. <laughs> I like them. Give okay. the people what they want. This one got tape in front of it, like masking tape. It comes off. This one's awesome, so. This is a celluloid cover on it. So just see the album. And this is all embossed, like lifted. And it's like a painted celluloid. It's a little strange to me because it looks like they hung people. Like here and here, it looks like there's literally people hanging from the building. And there's obviously a guy out here with a, a rifle this little building has a church, like a little cross on it. It's it's kind of creepy, actually. Pam, did you see that? No. It looks like people hanging from the building. It definitely does. Yeah, so it looks like people hanging from the building right there. And there's even crosses on there. Okay. So $10 start. Okay. There is one, we'll just do a quick count, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let me do a count quick, yep. nine, 10, 11, 12, they're cute, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. 20. So there's 20 images in the book. I I mean, you can see some scratching to it right there. But I don't see any cracks. And usually if there's cracks, you can press and fill them. And I'm doing that right now and you cannot. And if you actually look at look at the back of it, look at like it's mohair. This feels like it's mohair or like a velvet type. Beautiful Victorian clasp right here. Yeah, it's 
it's missing the actual clasp that locks it, but it's very pretty. But a very awesome book, to say the least. It's very cool. And then the great front, they said. I mean, to me, it just looks like two people because if you look at the size of the people and then you move them back some, be the same size hanging from the building. So that's probably my favorite so far as far as the way the album itself looks. And then, <laughs> Pam, you're not allowed to look at the stuff before I look at the stuff. Oh, yes, I am. Guys, just hear how my workers treat me. And then each page actually has like little, like gold filigree design around the image. Let's see, this one is from Crosswell, Michigan, Chass Robe. This one is Crosswell, Michigan, also. This one is by G.S. Windsor. There's no names on the on that one. <laughs> nice. So it seemed like Crosswell, Michigan. I'm only trying to move the ones that are a little easier for me to slide out. This one is out west. This one's Toronto. So this one's Canada. These are all late 1800s, 1870s, 1890s era. This one's an awesome image. So the two little girls in like the homespun plaid dresses. They're really cute. That one has no information on it. Oh, actually there is. This one is Chass Robe from, from Michigan also. I did a Kathy Bauer at 90. Little girl and her brother. I didn't do it, Mama. I didn't. There's there's Uncle Jed. And these are two baby babushkas. Look at them. Yeah, like the whole ensemble, the little winter Christmas outfits on. Count it down. Count it down. $90 with Kathy Bauer so far. We are looking for 95 or better on the awesome album. I agree with you, Julie. And this does come off this tape, just in case anybody's worried. It comes off. I think this is how the guy inventoried some of his stuff because there's blue tape on some of them and they have numbers. There you go. See, look, I took it off. It looks better already. Kenneth Ross and Barry sneaking in with a good of 95. Hello, Ken. Wants to know why all old pictures of the status or maddest faces on. <laughs> Hello, Mike, Storage Auction Pirate. If you guys are ever looking for really good auctions, Storage Auction Pirate has pirate auctions here on YouTube. He has amazing stuff, always has some really good, cool stuff. I actually believe I just got a package from him that I bought. I bought some uh, New York firefighter outfits from the 1920s or early 30s. I think I got two uniforms, two outfits. One time with Kathy Bauer. Spencer. <laughs> Mike knows that's not true. Uh, the police department. Oh, police department. Nice. That's even cooler. Yeah. I don't remember what I bought. It was 500 bucks and I bought it and I don't remember what it was. NYPD. It's pretty bad, right? Yes, <laughs> I just got myself in trouble. Yes. No, I saw they were there. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> so Kathy in at 110 looking for 120 or better, guys. Any advance? Again, it's just weird. It looks like there's people hanging from that building. It's going to drive me crazy. Okay, yep. Let's go ahead and call it out. Everybody else is out. Let's move along. Sold to Kathy Bauer. Sold, sold, sold. Kathy Bauer. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of glass, and then I'm going to grab some Pokemon cards. we got some people in the house, so we'll, we'll do Pokemon next while you guys are bidding on this Fiesta wear stuff. Um, this is like a pink, I guess. Coral. This one says, Homer Laughlin, China, lead free. So I don't know if – it looks like this is a mix between the new stuff and the old stuff. Coral. Coral. Pam said it's coral color, and she smacked me in the back of the head. This is an older one. Fiesta Nueva, come on and sing along. Oh, no, no. Another bowl. Couple plates. Uh, here is Homer Laughlin China. This is yellow. This is a yellow mustardy orange color. This is white. Uh, $15 start for the whole box. Fiesta. Oh, this is one that didn't get paid for from, like, way back. No problem. Uh, good with that. Two more, like, little dinner plates. And then an actual dinner plate. We're really good at mailing glass here, Spencer. Yeah, so far. Knock good. on wood. Pretty good. We can control how it's packed. Mm -hmm. We can't control how the post office handles it or when they will actually scan your packages. Actually, we do control that now because I called the postmaster of our state and said, hey, look. They cannot pick up items until they are scanned, and so every item must be scanned when it's picked up. Bonnie G at 45. Because my post girl was not happy that I was making her scan 80 to 100 packages a day. Bonnie's <laughs> pushing things in at 50. Fired. Bonnie G at 55. I know people are going to yell at me when I start showing these Pokemon cards because they were like, oh, well, you need to put, like, you know, the Machamps into plastic sleeves, and I just didn't get around to doing it yet. We can't print, uh, print, the, uh, print out them because we do all different sizes. Yeah, yeah, the only way it seems to let us do a printout. Now, we don't use Pirate Ship yet. That is, I was told that we could probably do it if we did Pirate Ship. Through PayPal, we can't so far. Yep, so through PayPal and through eBay, there's no way to print out a total order for the day because all of our packages are different sizes. If everything was the exact same weight and same size, we could prepay for all the all the labels at one time, and then it lets you do it. Believe it or not, so far, UPS and FedEx have been pretty good. UPS yeah. is really good so far. Here. Yeah, most everything has been UPS that we're shipping out because it's much better. But we're going to do some Pokemon next. Um, sold, sold 55 to Ronnie G. You know what? we got got 100 people in here. KK, are you still in here also? <laughs> I need some trays. Uh, Is it Sarah and Jackie? Yeah. yeah. We'll do some lots. Yeah, we have some oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. So then let's do this first, and then I'll do Pokemon in the next thing. Okay, guys, look. So this is Operation Desert Storm, 1997. Here you can look. This is a 5-ounce, 9.99 fine silver. This is a 5-ounce coin or a 5-ounce round from Desert Storm. $10 start. 
pure silver, 999 fine silver, five ounce. Let's say five ounce round. So we're going to let you guys bid on that while I make a Pokemon lot. No? Uh, don't know what a challenge coin is. It's a silver round. We're at 190 with Cassie's corner. And it is five ounces. Some things I know, some things I don't. Coins, I do not. Toys and vintage photographs and ephemera and stuff, that's kind of where my passion is, so I do that stuff on a regular basis. So, five ounce silver round. You can see how thick it is. Just as a comparison, I'll show you. So this is a Morgan dollar, and this is just to show you the difference. A Morgan dollar is like less than half the thickness. Uh, so that's what a Morgan dollar is versus ten dollar increments, please. Ten dollar increments, guys. Anything above a hundred, ten dollar increments. So five ounce of nine 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 silver. I have 220 with Kathy's corner. At a guy I know just found a hundred one ounce bars and then he found a one pound bar at an estate sale the other week. He bought a uh, like a cedar chest and it was locked. They couldn't open it. So they sold it to him for $25. It was insane. And there was like blankets on top, and then there was a little like shoebox with coins and silver. And there was a one pound silver bar in it. Guys, help Janine out and let her know when you're out, please. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Spencer, this guy got it for, I think it was $25 for a hundred ounces plus a one pound bar. And that's just what I know he got. He didn't tell, he just told me there was other coins, but he didn't tell me much more than, you know, that he got a hundred ounce bars, a hundred one ounce bars. And I didn't go to that estate sale, which made me very upset. One. Oh, sold, 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 to sold, Kathy. sold, sold, sold to Kathy. There you go. Congratulations, Kathy. Okay, so let's do some Pokemon cards. I'm going to grab, uh, you know, probably 50 to 100 cards is my guess. Uh, we'll do a little count. And then we will grab a couple from over in the hologramish type area and go from there because you guys know more about Pokemon than I do. I had a lot of comments. Uh, I did look into getting some graded, but they were like six months out. My partner wants us just to sell them, so here we are. So there's one, two, three. Four, five. If you guys watched the video, you would have saw pretty much a lot of the stuff that we had. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and you get into the corn stuff, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, those are 1999, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Some of these are 1996 too, 46, 47. First edition, they're oh, because my thumb's in the spot. Okay, 48, 49, sorry, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, Magmar, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, that's base set 2, 78, this is base set 2, let's see it there, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Here's a Haunter, 96. And then we're going to add four more cards to, just to make an even 100. Here is a Pidgeot Edition 1. So this is the base edition. I don't know how to tell here. For 8 of 64. And this is a Holly. A hollow foil, I think this is one of the better ones. And here is an Aerodactyl. And this is one of 62. And it is a foil Aerodactyl. I believe this is from the fossil set because of the little fossil. There. And then here's a Japanese foil trainer card. And here is a Cyndaquil. But these three up top are all foils. This is a first edition Pidgeot. I believe that's one of the ones that somebody said was really good. So you're getting a total of 100 cards in the slot. 40 with Treasure Hustlers. Okay, Treasure Hustlers in at 40, but then they bid themselves up. Okay, we have Treasure Hustlers in at 40. Okay, 40. Pirates in at 50. Treasure Hustlers is in at 55. Pirates in at 60. Yeah, where's Kyle Elliott? He was in. He was oh, is Kyle out. Elliott actually here? He went in. He came in, but he went back out. Oh, okay. I say, I think he likes his stuff too. Rise up at seventy. So we're at seventy with Rise Up is our current high bid. And like I said, I think out of all of these, the Aerodactyl obviously because it's a foil. 
and this Pidgeot is supposed to be good. The Pidgeot foil. And this one's actually in really, really nice shape. So you get the hologram Pidgeot, the hologram Aerodactyl. Um, it is really nice, actually. I'll show you guys real up close, because like I said, I know this is probably one that would have gotten graded. We're at Rise Up 95. And I don't know what that symbol is on the right-hand side. I'm sure that tells you which set it's from. So obviously edition one but there's the card like it's it's real nice guys up we need ten dollar increments after yep. 100 ten dollar increments now guys we're looking for 110 um give me just one second i'm gonna grab some sleeves that way if you guys see something in your lot that you're bidding on and you want me to put it into a sleeve i can so I want them to be as nice as they are now for you. Okay. Can you guys hear me? This is just a test. I walked pretty far away from the phone, so I don't know if it's still synced. Can you guys hear me? We're at 110 with Rise Up. Are you fine? Awesome. <laughs> Rebecca. Okay, awesome. Thank you. So I am going to put the Pidgeot and the Aerodactyl into a sleeve for you guys. Like I said, this one's probably nice enough where I would have gotten it graded if I had the patience to wait six months. Okay, so there's the Aerodactyl now on a sleeve, or the Pidgeot. And thin plastic sleeve into a top loader. This one here. Okay. You got it. So we're looking for 120 or better, guys, on this lot. There's 100 total cards. We're going to do some of the collection today and some tomorrow. Only one. But I think that Pidgeot's nice enough for a grade. Aerodactyl actually might be too. And if you guys watched the Pokemon video that I did, the only ones I really looked up were, I think I looked up the Gyarados foils and the Machamps because I couldn't believe that the Machamps were, you know, somebody's college tuition for a year. But they were kind of all over the board. <laughs> uh, no, Spencer. <laughs> so just, Uh, sold, 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 right? I can, Spencer. If you want a military grade briefcase, you can either send me one out here, I'll put them in there for you, or we can sell you one for $22,000. Military grade briefcase. <laughs> okay, sold, sold, sold. Yep. 
sold to rise up. Okay, do you guys want another lot of Pokemon? You want me to go to something different? You, you guys control the action. Want another photo album? Yes, Rise. They'll, um, they'll invoice you. Yep, I invoice everybody. And I'm probably not just going to count out 100 cards every time because oh, I'm lazy. Let's just be honest. Okay. Um, I don't know what they're talking about by the best because I don't really know other than the Ma Champs, which obviously, you know, I looked up and they were all over the board, you know, above 10K and down to lower numbers. I don't know. So I'm just literally, there's a stack area that has all the hologram stuff. So I'm just grabbing from the other stack and then I'm grabbing a couple cards from the holograms and then just mixing them in. So whatever's in that stack is what you're going to get. Um, yes, we do have more rock posters. Kabuto. So those are fossil. <laughs> and some of them do not have, I guess this is a rarity symbol, this little mark down here. Some of them are blank. They don't have rarity symbols. We'll do a, a photo book after this. Yep. So we'll do this slide and then we'll do a photo book. More silver. Do you have more silver? Yeah, I do have some, a little bit more silver. Yep. So Pidgey. That one's a 102. So, and this is one, two, three, four. So there's four dates on this one. Kyle, so it might be shadowless. Send any invoices for this? For yesterday. Yeah, I didn't send invoices for yesterday. I'll be sending them probably Friday. Yeah, I might send them tonight. Depends on how we ran. Yeah, we ran late yesterday, so I just didn't do it yesterday. Yeah, or I can invoice you guys on Friday morning if that makes it better for all of your wins for the entire week. We have more rock posters. We do. I do. We have one or two. Freshie. Yeah. <laughs> we have forty thousand rock and roll posters. How many do you want? These are a lot of like of 102. I don't know if that matters, but I know somebody made a comment in the video that said 102. So, which I think that was Sarah Jackie, maybe. And that's another great channel if you guys haven't checked it out Treasure Hustlers. Two gorgeous young ladies doing their, I think they have a, the recent video that I watched was like a dumpster dive video that was really good. They just have great chemistry and it's fun to watch them together. It's like Pam and I, you know, we get along very well. She only stabs me whenever there's nobody around, so. I keep putting my finger over the spot where there's supposed to be the first edition numbering. If I miss something, guys, just say it in the thing. Like I said, I have sleeves. Okay, Pam, grab some rock and roll posters for you guys. I just don't want to miss, like, you know, hey, you, you missed a $5,000 card. It's like, oops. Nice. What do you say? For sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. He usually waits until after all three options. Please bring the whip. It's just easier. It's easier for me to pull all the items. Yeah, we're rearranging the warehouse to have space for shelving for each one of the regular buyers. So each regular buyer will get their own shelf. So when you buy stuff, all of your items will just go on your shelf. And once a week, we'll pack and ship out your items. I just don't want to miss something that is good, and I don't know it. So I'm making sure to show you guys each of the cards. 
Did you? Yeah. He didn't send you those pics of him like shirtless, did he? Oh, okay. So this is fossil. This is fossil. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. There's probably more than 100 in this lot. Brisky, I would love to give you a corner of the warehouse. <laughs> She'll do it on a day I'm not here. It'll be cheaper. <laughs> there, there's more trainers. And then let's go to some shinies. Just because I like shiny. <laughs> So here's a shiny Eevee Rise at in Japanese. So this is really cool. A Flareon. That's that's what that is. Um, this is supposed to be a good card. This is one of the promo cards of Dragonite. It is a Black Star promo. You can see right there. So this is supposed to be a good card. That one is probably worth putting into a sleeve. You guys tell me which ones you want sleeved, whoever the high bidder is. Here is a shiny Snorlax. Card orders up so there's a shiny Snorlax. And I think this is supposed to be a good one too, guys. This is from the basics. This oh, yeah, is 60. a hologram Nidoran. Rise of 65. Now, I don't think this is nice enough to get graded because I can see a little flaw right there. And they're pretty strict on grading, so. Is that a, the that Dragonite? Cat? Oh, the Snorlax? Yeah. It's like a it, it's like a giant fat cat. It's actually one of the like the characters that I like the most from Pokemon Go. It is it's strange. Part at 80, Cody at 100. Five at 110. Uh, and then I'll show you guys just the main cards right there. I don't have any queen posters. I wish. I usually pick the monster stuff. I like that stuff. I know you do. <laughs> I didn't, though. I didn't pick all monsters. You didn't? Okay. Oh, that was a loose pile somewhere. Okay. I'm going to put the Black Star promo Dragonite into a sleeve because I think that's a good one. I mean, I know all of the Black Star promos are good, but I think the Dragonite is one of the better ones. So it's going into a sleeve. Mookie. Hey, Mookie. Hello. Yep. 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 You can, you can wrench Mookie. So, anything else that I should be putting into a sleeve, guys? You like their names? I do. <laughs> I would like to know how they get them sometimes. You just change it. You just... No, no, no. How they pick them. Oh. Why, they pick them. Why is your name what it is? Okay. Uh, cool. A lot of people use their regular names. Like, we use our business name because we're branding our business. Mm -hmm. And because Kevin Longschlong was taken. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was coming. I couldn't help myself. I tried. <laughs> Card hoarders in at 170. Those are the main ones from what I can see, Brian said. Okay. Should I should I sleeve the Snorlax and the, the Flareon or no? I don't need to. Rise at 180. Oh. Look, we're here to have fun. Like, oh my god! <laughs> look, I I like business and everything else, but I own my own business for the main reason of I probably would get fired from every other job I'd ever have because I'm a jerk. Anything in here? 
Anything hologram. Okay. Okay, there. All right, two hunter or card hoarder. <laughs> And obviously, guys, you know, I don't really worry about the value of items. I let you guys decide that. You know, in the video, I told you guys, I, I think I even told you what I paid for the collection <laughs> with a partner. And, you know, it's all like about gambling to me. The casinos are closed. So we Carl, come here. if we had an HR department here, we would have been closed when we opened. <laughs> yeah, no HR department would keep me around. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I actually used to work as a chef, Harold, and, and I was actually very well behaved. Um, no. <laughs> Just to the well behaved part. No, I had to be. Like, it was very professional. <laughs> okay, we're going twice. <laughs> Sold, sold, sold. Card hoarders for 200. Photo book. Okay, photo album. And then we will we'll leave the Pokemon over there. And we'll do. <laughs> So this is an awesome catch. Look, you push up on the little ball, and the other ball moves. So awesome metal fixture. It says album. It's part of the album itself. Ten dollars start, guys. Hi, Snapper. Hi, Bill. Okay, this is Esta Schaefer. Hi, Pat. These. So this is from Nazareth, Penn Argel, Pennsylvania. Penn Argel. Yeah, Nazareth, Penn Argel. Nice. So it's really close to us. And it tells you the lady's name. That's for Schaefer. Here's another one from Flickinger. This one is Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. So this is right up the street from us. Nice. This one is Kutztown, Pennsylvania by Dietrich. Kathy Bauer in our 50. And these pages have broke off of their spines. This one is Elkhart, Indiana. That's the corner at 90. This one, the baby. And either that baby's got a really long name or somebody wrote in this album and then reused the album. Happy Bauer at 110. Herzog's Art Places in Pen Argel and Nazareth. Miss Lori Snyder. I don't know who that is. Here's another one. This is Northampton Street in Easton, Pennsylvania. George Huber. This one is from Phillipsburg, New Jersey. Just right up the street. It's funny that all of these were bought in Florida, and they're from like five minutes away from here. This one is Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Norman, Norman Keemer. Yes, they're. Yep. Yes, cabinet, cabinet photos, photo on board. A lot of people call them different things. If you see it, it's yellowish, then they're called albumin because they're made with egg whites in the process. So this one is from Herzog also, from Nazareth. This one is also from Herzog's. That baby got a lot of hair. And all that hair. That baby got a lot of hair. Another one there. This one is from Strunk Studios, which is still around in the Reading, Pennsylvania area. See, John D. Strunk, Reading, Pennsylvania on Penn Street. Uh, 
Look like at all the like beating work and the jewelry. She kind of looks like Ronda Rousey. There's a lot of photos in this one. This one has, if you look, there's a painted decorated chest on the left of that little girl. That chest is probably $50,000 right now. I love looking at like some of the stuff. Like whenever you see kids playing with toys, I'm looking at like toys from the 1800s. Carhartt from Phillipsburg, New Jersey. This reminds me of Buster Brown. Yep. Pat, they were in front of our girl now, Yep. So there are two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we'll eleven, off. twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 photos in this book. I just like how detailed things were back, you know, back in the 1800s. I mean, they took the time to make each page of an album look like a picture frame and decorate each piece. I just think that's awesome. That's awesome, Pat. All in one. Okay. Sell it to Kathy. Don't play. These are fun. I know it's all my favorite one. I don't know if you want to. <laughs> I don't know. I like that one. We'll sell whatever. I don't care. It's everything in the warehouse is for sale. I don't care what it's worth. I don't care what we paid for it. It goes up for auction. It's for sale. Sold, sold, sold. The one with the silver inlay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to do something. For you guys here. Somebody asked for a rock and roll poster. These are what Pam grabbed. I had nothing to do with this. So this is David Dean. So this one is not signed or numbered because he just doesn't sign or number his stuff. This is from 1997. It was Stone Temple Pilots with Cheap Trick. Or Stone Temple Pilots was turning Cheap Tricks. I don't know. But it's got Calvin and Hobbes down at the bottom. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll see if I can, cause I really would like to get that table cleared off over there. I'll see if I can get them ready tomorrow. Yep. I'd love to get rid of all the baseball cards. Yes. We'll do another silver lot next. I'm just kind of trying to keep it all mixed up a little bit and then we'll do more Pokemon and everything else. So 23 inches by 17 and a half inches so 23 by 17 and a half it is guaranteed original 1997 stone temple pilots poster for the expo square pavilion ten dollar start all of our posters start at 10 bucks shipped See you, Pat D's. So we have Kyle Elliott in at 10. Zygon Tiger came in just a second later. And this one's in great shape. I'll show you guys the side. Yeah, this one's really nice. Yep, I'm going to uh, actually have a glass tray. We have some jewelry, if you guys would like some jewelry. Glenn in at 15, Cody in at 20. Okay. Zygon Tiger at 22. 
there is a secret way to tell which one of the treasure hustlers is here, Sarah or Jackie. One of them types in lowercase and the other one types in capitals. Yes, uh, Pat told us that. Yeah, but I don't remember which one he said was which. Vomit on jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, Rebecca. You know you like to wear frilly stuff. 25 with Glenn. So we're at $25 with Glenn on the Stone Temple Pilots Cheap Trick poster. We do ship our uh, concert posters rolled. Camera. Okay. We have some more posters, vintage posters. We have, I don't know, I probably can't get to it, but there's another box of those photo things that we did yesterday. Mm. Yeah, it's too heavy to reach from there. I'll figure it out. I don't know. How to tell. <laughs> That's Jackie. <laughs> Brian Maronian at 30. Yeah, Brian in at 30. <laughs> How about a vintage, like our concert t shirt? You guys want me to do one of those too? <laughs> Hey, speaking of fist bumps, where is Westside Gary? Wait until I see him. Doesn't come and hang out with us. We have Brian. Sh Brian Maroney is in at 30. Wow. Yeah, Brian, you've been buying posters from me for, what, a year, year and a half? So you don't have this one? There's a lot of cool ones still here. Concert uh, t-shirts. Oh. <laughs> well, I think they're talking about Gary. Yes, I know. This <laughs> is Jackie. So you were right. Yeah. The only reason that made me think about it is because since Sarah types small, yeah, her first letter is Sarah, so it's an S, so it goes for small. I think I could be wrong. <laughs> Going once. They like messing with me. Yes, they do. I'm a guy and I'm blonde. I'm easily fooled. Going twice. <laughs> oh, shit, good one. <laughs> thirty dollars, Lone Star. Yeah, thirty. <laughs> so we're looking for thirty two or better. <laughs> it's okay one of these days I'm going to go out there I'm going to hide in one of the dumpsters that they dig into I'm going to jump out and scare them sold 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 to Brian Maroney <laughs> I'm going to wear a Mr. Buys Lot shirt and jump out be like surprise okay Okay, good. I can get rid of this tray of miscellaneous now. Yes, tray of miscellaneous. Oh, wait, no, I promised silver, didn't I? Yes, you did. Okay, I promised silver, so I'll do silver. And then a tray of miscellaneous. Okay, let's do uh, two more silver dollars. They just want silver dollars because I think KK left. <laughs> Eighteen eighty-five. Morgan silver dollar. This one has an O. Some 1885 silver dollar. And then this is also an 1885. This one's in a lot better condition. I mean, you can see like <laughs> the hair right there and stuff. Oh, I'll definitely have Mr. Bizelot shirt on. And how many other times have somebody jumped out of a trash can or a dumpster? <laughs> Good Lord. That happens on a regular basis. I ain't doing it because if I get in there and there's somebody else already in my spot, I'm going to be a little freaked out. <laughs> so this one's in fantastic condition. So you're buying both. Both are 1885. 
Morgan Silver Dollars. And again, guys, thank you so much for being here. It is making a world of difference here in the warehouse. We can actually see across the filing cabinets to the other side. And that's even with all of our yesterday sold lots on top of the filing cabinets. We can actually walk without falling. Yeah. Pam doesn't hit me every time I walk through the door with something. <laughs> Normally I hide it, but still. She knows. I see everything. She's got a sixth sense. I think she puts up cameras in here. I found that one in the toilet the other day. I don't know what you I don't know what you're doing, but that was your camera. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show them each one up close. Just because I know condition's important. So two Morgan silver dollars. Both are from 1885. That has happened before people sleeping in them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any knife lots or ninja turtles? Um, no knife lots. I don't even know. I, I have to have pocket knives somewhere. Yeah, you never know what I have, but I don't think I have any knife lots. And I sold Tommy most of the Ninja Turtles. Okay, bids. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know Donna was on. I'm just going to put them into the sleeve here, guys, just to protect them a little bit. And I can still show them to you guys. She's still bidding. Like baseball card sleeves are good for something else. <laughs> Sold to Kathy's corner for eighty dollars. Congratulations, Kathy. Kathy's buying all the silver. Okay, guys. Oh, I was gonna do this miscellaneous slide. Yep. Okay, here's a bunch of mugs and cups and pitchers and bears on oh my. So this is oh Canada. Nice Canada, night, Canada, Kathy. Canada, Canada. Okay. okay. See you, Kathy. Here is a sports beer pitcher. It's got football, tennis, golf, and baseball on it. Uh, this lot's really heavy, so $25 start. It's going to definitely cost that if it has to go anywhere other than the Northeast. Pavama, Lasco. Which cards are we asking about? Arizona. She's asking about the Pokemon cards. They go from 1995 to 2004, I think. I do believe... This one is Royal Norfolk. Yep. This one's really cool. This is, I think this is probably one of I like the most. This one's from Las Vegas. Has the Flamingo, the Aladdin, the Stardust, the Tropicana, MGM Grand, Caesar Palace, and Sahara. Oh, the sports cards. Uh, we have cards dating back to, I probably have some tobacco cards, like, you know, turn of the century stuff around in boxes, but there's about 3 million cards over at the other warehouse. And the majority of them are probably seventies, eighties and nineties. 
Yeah, we have sports cards. We won't have them until tomorrow, unfortunately, though. Yeah, I'll definitely do lots of sports cards tomorrow. Um, I don't know what's over there on the trays. This is a silver tankard. It says, thank you, Steve and Kathy. 928 of 96. So it's a metal Selwyn pewter tanker. <laughs> Here are four glasses from some kind of a set. Mount Vernon, Virginia. This is the Betsy Ross house. Monticello. And then United States Capitol White House. If I, could, if I could tell you guys, needle in a haystack when when you ask for a specific item. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't even we, know how to explain it to you like that. We we have ideas of where stuff is in relation to like, hey, it's in the back corner of the warehouse. Yeah. But then there might be a thousand boxes full of a thousand items yeah. in that area. So it's it's kind of like a crapshoot. Whatever we open and find. It's what we yep. Try to get ready. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I haven't really themed out auctions yet or anything like that. There's stuff that I have that you know I've paid thousands of dollars for that I have no clue where it's at. <laughs> this is really pretty. Right now, I'm just I just walk around and pick up miscellaneous items right now. Yep, and I told her everything is available. So you know, one of these days you'll see. I mean, I have signed first edition Mark Twain books that would sell it at high end auctions for 10 to 20 grand. And if she walks up and puts it in front of you guys on the table, it's up for sale and it'll start at 10 bucks because it would ship cheap. So, and then this is an awesome Stein, like a beer Stein pottery. Probably German. Yep, here you go. It's a Gertz West German beer stein. Done with cobalt blue and raised figures. So very cool. Ein, Hunk, Ein Hunter Trunk. Gebert und Schwung. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much I control the trade shaker. <laughs> For sure. Look, she has say so in whatever we want to put up. She can uh if she sees it, she trips on it, that's what's coming up that day. I guarantee it. She kicks a box, hurts her toe, makes her shoes dirty. Oh my lord. Yeah, if it makes my shoes dirty, it's definitely out of here. Yeah, if it makes her shoes dirty, you're lucky that it makes it to the auction. <laughs> Um, Chris, well, it's a $20 starting bid. Like I, th I think it's going to cost 25 to ship. Yeah. Especially the California Lacris because they're all thick glass. And then the Stein, like if you just wanted the Stein or you just wanted a couple, I can do that. And then I would just throw out the rest because Pam and I came to an agreement that if it doesn't sell at auction, we don't get a bid, it goes in my dumpster. Bonnie, Bonnie, uh, Bonnie asks, Brian, can I purchase the Arizona and clear mug? Yeah, if it does not get a bid, you absolutely could purchase individuals. We got $25 starting. Okay. And guys, after the auction, you can always try to get in touch with the person who buys the item. I do not recommend doing that during the auction because it's kind of a form of collusion and it's not fair to everybody else. But after the auction, you guys are free to do whatever you'd like. Some stuff doesn't make it to the dumpster. It makes it to my house. <laughs> yeah. Pam steals some stuff out of the dumpster. She yells at me for doing that, but <laughs> nah, she just takes it before I throw it in the dumpster. I have my own group. <laughs> yeah. She sells some stuff on Facebook, you know, like this stuff, if it was on Facebook, it's fine because picking it up doesn't cost anything, but yeah. When, yeah, when we ship, I mean, there's 
you know, when we do a weekend auction, I probably spend fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars just on shipping. So it's a real killer on bigger items. Yeah, Brian, I I try to get him to get rid of some stuff. But the shipping is a killer. We got a twenty five dollars starting bid with Snapper. Okay, so we got Snapper in at twenty five dollars. Going once, going twice. I think the just the beer stein's worth more than twenty five bucks. Yeah. Especially since it's German, West German. Stoneware. <laughs> they actually did. Uh, that because is I threw away true. Yeah. I threw away all the single shoes, and then everybody was yelling at me because people sell single shoes for crazy money. Oh. And I didn't know. But... See, you. see you, Phil. You think your craft can is bad. You should see mine sometimes. Yeah. Okay, is it sold? I think it's sold. Sold? Sold, sold, sold. Okay, here. <laughs> Pam's favorite album that we've came across so far. Yeah, so far I love this album. I don't know. I don't know what's on the inside. I just like the outside. Because of all like the silver plate design work, so this is all a formed metal silver plate cover piece that's actually pressed into the felt or the velvet or whatever used to be on this book, and it says album in really fancy letters, but very very early, uh, definitely you know pre nineteen hundred. But beautiful, large album. I will do a count, and then we can figure out where stuff is from. And what's really cool is each page has, like, you know, little design work. <laughs> so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Thank you, eight, star. nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. Ooh, good. <laughs> that's good. That's actually so, very good thinking. We never thought of that. We have uh, donated a lot to the best, actually. So we have 18. Oh, oh, there's more. This one's just a regular photo. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 images in this book. This one is from Banger, I want to say. Nice. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't read it. Washington Street. I don't like when I can't get the images out. I write down what you guys are looking for and I try to find some of that. Yep, she tries to find it. There. Market Street. 60 with Kathy Bauer. This one has the little girl's name on it. Looking to the front. I know one of them was Rhode Island. 75 with Kathy Bauer. But if you look, they all have this like gold filigree work. On each one of the pages, so they're really pretty. 85 with Stryker. This one is Under with Kathy Bauer. from Halifax, NS. Where's what's NS? Nebraska? NS, Halifax? I guess. I'm, I'm I don't know. Nova Scotia? I don't know. Richard Boston. This one's from Boston, Mass. This lady with the scary hair is from. See, lady with the scary hair. Yeah, the front of this book is amazing. Metcalf in Boston, Mass. Nova Scotia. Okay. Thank you, guys. This one's Halifax, NS, and Spring Hill, NS. This one's a little boy or a little girl holding a giant brim straw hat. That one for you guys.
Look, it's my friend W.C. Crowley with Charlie Stewart. Townhomes something. Love Xmas 1890. Look at the work that's on the back of that. Like, it's just, it's awesome. It's such a shame nowadays that people don't put as much effort into things. It's Montreal. My bed with Kathy Bauer at 100. This is probably a priest. I can't tell. There's no little boys in the picture. Bad joke. Huh? Bad joke. Never mind. No, no, I didn't get no yelled at. Joke. This one's Boston, Mass. This one is Portland, Maine. Jackson, done by Jackson. Here's a sequence. But the album is what Cam likes the most is because it has all of this silver plate. You can see it's three-dimensional. All of it looks like rope, all the letters. Yeah, I really like the album. I'm not really into people photos. <laughs> this book may open by itself, <laughs> but then it'll sell for more money because it'll be a haunted book. <laughs> I just don't like people photos. <laughs> <laughs> so it's beautiful. I would definitely collect books, but not their photos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going once. I met up Kathy at 100. Okay, we have Kathy in at 100. Looking for 110 or better on this album. Let's see the first picture that you showed of the lady in Halifax. Uh oh. Which one was that? I don't I don't know. This one's Lynn Mass, Sunbeam Photography. Um I don't remember which one it was. That one's Portland, Maine. I feel like you started on the back. We feel like I started in the back. Mm -hmm. and those are different. This one's from Rhode Island, Providence, Rhode Island. And then I think there's a bunch of empty pages. Oh, here. This one actually looks like they took it outside. It looks like the white cups. The big hat from behind it. I don't know what all the little dots are for. Almost looks like snow. Like, would they take a picture with fake snow? Because she's definitely standing on snow. If she did, that's that's some serious work right there. Because I thought back then you had to stand for like a long time for the photo to take. But I think that's the one they were talking about. Hope that's the one you were talking about. <laughs> There's a lot of danger. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. Or were we talking about the little girl with the big brim hat? These are Novus, or those are Halifax, but here's another one. This one's Halifax. <laughs> that was the one that had the writing on the back of it. Okay, going once, going twice. Where are we at? Going twice. Gold. Going twice. Kathy Bauer. Kathy Bauer. Another one bites the dust. Okay, I think I have a, another poster for you guys from Pam's Pile. This one is done by Dave Chappell. Original album art by Bob Pepper. So the Forever It Changes concert tour, 2003, with Arthur Lee, New York City Town Hall. 
35th anniversary for the Love Tour. This one is numbered but not signed. Number 329 of 350. $10 start, no reserve, no reserve ever on anything. There is a little dent right there. So Pam picked this one out because I think she liked all the colors. No, it's on your file. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pick it. <laughs> I picked the next one. Okay, so we have $10 with Brimeroni. And Brian, I know you don't have one of these because I think we only have one of these because I've honestly not seen this poster. Oh, nice, Sandy. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely actress and vaudeville people and famous people in the photos. Nope, I've never had. Actually, I don't remember ever having this one. So I definitely do not have any quantity of this one. So we have $12 with Zygon, $14 with Brian, $20 with Shriker, $25 with Brian. Colors are awesome. We have so much stuff that, like, I just never even know what we have. So, Strikers out. We have Brimeroni in at 25. Looking for any advance on 25. It is numbered, but it is not signed. It does tell you who the artist is, though. Okay, so we're just down to Brian Maroney in at $25. Looking for any advance. I'll let you guys give them the gum once, going twice, and sold spill while I drink a drink. Quick. Yeah, like there's an awesome boxing piece in this collection that I saw a picture of it. And I hope it is. I hope it's whatever Sandy thinks it is. I hope that is the case. I hope it's a $5,000 photo for you, Kathy. That is my hopes for everybody who purchases items from us. Hi, Zian. We've just, uh, we've sold, I believe, three or four photo albums so far today. So we've been selling photos all day. Okay, we sold. Sold to Brian Maroney, $25. Okay. I started to write it. Okay. So let's do this thing, whatever this is. And everybody, all the jewelry people are probably over at Donatella's, but oh well. Somebody else will get a good deal then. So this is some kind of necklace. It looks like bamboo, but it's metal, and it's got a matching pair of earrings. I don't see any markings. But it's definitely costume of some sort. So you're going to get whatever's in this box whatever's in both of these boxes. So here's a watch. This looks like a Seiko, I believe. Focus, camera, focus. So Seiko. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Janesco. Um, I'm not sure who this Pulsar. I think is what that says. Pulsar. Just on the watches because they're easy. This one just says classic. This one is the same. 
Okay. I guess I should probably grab a tray to put stuff into. Let me grab a tray quick. Okay, there we go. So then you have some pearls. They are individually knotted between each pearl. I know that's important. Um, I don't see any flaking off around the holes, which is also important. See, I'm trying to learn. And here's the little clasp. There's the inset. I'm not sure if it goes in like that or if it goes the other way. There it goes. But those are individually knotted. Here's another set of pearls that are not knotted between the pearls. So that generally means that they're not real, I think. This set is not knotted between them. Um, these are pretty. So let's do, uh, I don't know, are we already have bids? Yep, that sounds good. Okay. I know somebody got a necklace that they said they sold on eBay for like 600 bucks from us, which was good. Because it was Tiffany's, like the, it was a set of pearls. This says Lisa on the, the little tab. These are knotted between each one. Let's see right there. Another pearl necklace. Those are very iridescent. -y. Another one. A bracelet of some sort. And then here are pearls that are like, I think these are pearls. I think these might be what are called freshwater pearls, maybe. Okay, I'll check in just a second. Okay. I'm just checking my email guys for registrations. Wayne, if you're in here, Tar Hill Picker. Is that yep. the one? Yep. Hit so you can wrench him. Got it. Susie Q in at 30. And Sabamos, if you're in here, make a comment so that we can give you a wrench. Mookie, obviously, you have a wrench. Jim Boyles, if you're in here, you have a wrench. Joe Silva obviously has a wrench. Yeah. Claudia, if you're in the room, make a comment and you can get a wrench. Claudia Rose. Okay. Yeah, it's because I was off the screen. Oh, give him a second. He's adjusting. Yep, I was. There you go. You should have video again. So, um, Sorry, yep, I was checking my email to see who had registered. So this is some kind of a little, probably a watch fob would be my guess. Here are some earrings. 14 KTGF earrings. So then these are a bunch of little earrings down in here. Um, it is possible that there's gold in here because I honestly didn't look. That's pretty neat. It does seem like there's pears too because I know that's important. So there's the orange ones. Here's the second one of the, the dangly one from over there. There's a pair of these with little pearls inside. Yep, yep, all of it. All of it goes. All of the jewelry. This is early. This is really nice. This has a lot of weight to it, too, for being so small. 
So, and there's a pair of those. I can see them right here. So you get all of this. And here's a very shiny satiny cloth. Here is a rosary with a cross on it. Here's a pretty pair of porcelain earrings with roses. Some more costume jewelry there. A little pair of pearl earrings. I don't know what these are. They look like for a watch band, maybe. Um, here's a cameo. This is a plastic cameo. It's not good. You can just tell because it's applied to the, to the back. So a little bit. Don't know too much about jewelry, but a little bit. So here's some funky necklace. Oh, somebody's going to have fun taking this apart because it ain't going to be me. <laughs> Little handkerchief type things. And there's a white strand of like costume beads. And we get into metal with big like knobs and amber colored beads. There's a bunch, I think there's about three necklaces here, kind of all banded together, or this might have been for eyeglasses, I think. Uh, here's a brooch, a cool Christmas brooch, it's metal. Here's a really odd, this one's marked Mon Mon Monet. Monet, Monet, that's how you say it. It's French, it must be fancy. Bracelet. Here's a shiny ring. Blue colored glass stones. It's a funky mid century modern looking necklace. Are you a Pisces? Here's another Christmas pin. I guess this is interchangeable to this. And there's another one of those, so it looks like there's three different colors you could change. Why? So here's another little older, this is definitely older necklace. Hey, a lot of Christmas stuff in here. It's a little snowman with a bell. Mania 62. And uh, there's another earring in there. It's a little pin. Hypoallergenic pierced earrings. That's a giant earring. There's a military like tie clip. Another vintage G. Small child's necklace. Here's another bracelet. These are definitely either glass or some kind of a stone. And then there's a whole bunch more stuff. Some gold earrings. I'm trying to see if they're marked or anything. Not that I would be able to see. That one's funky. Here's some pink. Here's some white flower earrings. It's 
a lot more earrings in here. It's a ring. Let me see the uh, after fifty dollars is five dollar increments. This here, can I see that loop? There we go. Let me take a look at this piece right here because it is marked something. Let me see what it is. Can't read the marking on it. Yeah, I can't read the mark on this one. This has that marking down inside, down there. There's a hot place at 57. More earrings, more earrings. So lots and lots of earrings. Okay. A lot of necklaces. And we'll put all the earrings inside that box. That way they don't slide around everywhere. That's what you're getting. Everything in there. And a 1901 Morgan silver dollar. That way, I know that for sure there's silver in there. So there may be gold, but now we know for sure there's silver. I can't look at the little markings on earrings. I just can't do it. How heavy is the ring with the marking? Very light. And I couldn't make out what the markings were, so very light. Seventy-seven with treasure hustlers. And you can tell right there it's broke. It's broke right there. But we did include a silver dollar. In 1901, New Orleans silver dollar. Um, at 85. Snapper at 90. Got it at 95. Next bit, $100. You can just tell, like, this is definitely older, the way it's made. $100 with Snapper. Got a Benjamin. Thank you. Rings. So it's a nice tray. I mean, I can do this. With the tray and everything, this weighs 4.6 pounds. So over four pounds of jewelry. Out. 
think the hot plate is out. Is there more stuff over on that table, Pam, that we need to move? Okay. What? Well, I mean, we, there's still three more trays of stuff here. I just, I was just trying to get that table out of your way. We've been working on that table for like a month, so. I just keep selling it. <laughs> Okay, going once, going twice. So you have the snapper in at one hundred dollars. Sold the snapper. I know if I added the silver coin, I would get the hundred. That was the goal. Okay, I don't know what's in this box. Pam just put it over here, so we're gonna put it over here, and then I'm gonna open it up and see what's in it. What is in this? Okay, no. okay. toys. So this is from Fast and the Furious. This is Brian's Nissan GTR. Diecast car. And it looks like we have 1938 Ertl diecast metal panel truck banks mint on the card. Goodness gracious, we have a bunch of those. It's okay, they can have it all. $20 start, guys. It's definitely going to cost at least that because each one of these trucks is pretty heavy. They're from 1994. And there are 10 of those trucks. So 10 Ertl Agway trucks and the Fast and the Furious Brian's GTR car. So $20 start, guys. Oh, 25, Janine said. Okay, 25 sounds good. They definitely have some weight to them. Each car is about seven. So it's probably one, two. So it's probably almost five pounds. This package. Nope. Nope, we're getting ready to do it. The other red line. Oh. I did say we would do it today. Right. It's over there. In in the top of that uh we have the corgi and the red line on the card. Right there. Oh no worries, that's fine. So we're at thirty with snapper. On this lot. So we're at 30. At 35 with Marilyn. There are 10 of these Ertl trucks, brand new on the card. They are die cast metal. They are dime banks, so you can put dimes inside of them. Not to be confused with dime bags. <laughs> so we're at $35 with Marilyn. On the 10 carded Ertl diecast trucks and the Fast and the Furious metal GTR. Okay, we have 35 with Marilyn going once. <laughs> no, those are mine. All mine. I have to put up with Pam all day. Nothing. 
Going once, going twice. Oh, that thing is really heavy. This is by Jada. There's somebody in the comments said something about it, so. Marilyn Delgado. Nice buy, Marilyn. Okay, let's do, I'm going to put this up here. This is not what's up for bid right now. I'm just going to put it up there so that we know that that's coming up. We'll do this one first. So this is a Corgi from Star Trek II, 1982. It is on the card. The bubble has definitely got some bins in it. Make it look a little nicer for you. So it's the USS Enterprise um, at $10. It is a die cast. It's small. It's like the size of a Hot Wheels, but it is a Corgi car, and it is from a movie, Star Trek. On the back, you can see Superman, Van, Batmobile, Woody Woodpecker, Superman, Yogi Bear, and then this is the Flintstones car. So $10 start on the Star Trek car, or the Star Trek Enterprise. You know what I don't know what happened to? What? That big box of die-cast cars that we had, like all the Corgis and Dinkies and other red lines. And... The box of light bulbs right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know where it is. Hmm. So we have Jabby's in at 10. Spencer, where do you live? <laughs> He's in California. Oh, yeah? He only got to Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow. Please call me Maury. No, no, it's pretty close, Spencer. So $10 we have on the carded Corgi. And then we'll do the Hot Wheels. Yesterday, what was our top on the Hot Wheels? We got 160 for the one. And the one we have today is the best car. So hopefully we got, we got our guys here today. Hopefully. Jabbies for ten dollars. Nice buy. Awesome buy. Okay, so we're gonna put it up. I don't think our buyers are here today. Somebody's gonna miss out. I'm gonna be sad, but it's gonna happen. Unpunched, mint on the card, red hot heap. There's no toning to the car itself. The bubble is actually really nice. It has a little tiny ding on the side right here in the bubble. Yes, yeah, y'all have not said the only one after tomorrow. No problem. So, carded red line, 
little crease right here on the card. Okay. That's Scotty, you know when you go in at 49, that means somebody can come in at 51, right? Then it goes $5 increments. So this is the best of the three cars that we sold. Said yesterday we did the other two. This one is the one that is up today. Nope. Tim, to be able to bid, you have to send me a registration. Follow the yellow line at the bottom. Send a e uh, registration to my email. Marielle was waiting in the back. Jumped in at 100. Brian Shemin's in at 110. Marielle at 140. Scotty at 150. Yep. This is definitely the best car out of the three that we had. And the condition of the card is actually the best. the button. Awesome. Thank you, Matthew. I'll show you guys the back of the card, too. 1967. I have a friend that has an amazing collection of these. Like, uh, by amazing, I mean he's probably spent half a million dollars buying his collection. And he's been talking to me about what he wants to do whenever he gets duplicates and he upgrades, if he wants to sell them through me or for me to buy them. Stuff like this, he's got, you know, he's probably got a case of them. So I didn't even offer this stuff to him because I was like, eh, this is not rare enough to go in his collection for sure. He's looking for like, you know, side load beach bombs or rear load beach bombs. Prototype <laughs> cars, stuff like that. Donnie. <laughs> Tommy M at 210. <laughs> So 210 on the red hot heap. There's no toning on the car itself. That's usually really rare to find. Even carded, they tone really badly. <laughs> but it is unpunched, which is kind of cool. I remember doing toy shows back in the 90s when these started to get hot and you could buy carded cars for like 30 to 50 bucks. I had a pink Olds 442 that I paid $300 at an auction for and everybody thought I was insane. Oh, this guy showed with the Diora? Yeah. Uh, he has one. He bought a sealed one from me. So we're at 210, looking for 220 or better, guys. Two ten, looking for 220 or better on the carded red line. So what else do we have on the table? We have uh few more miscellaneous lots. We have some more rock and roll posters. We have Pokemon cards. We could probably be persuaded to find the other die cast red lines and stuff like that. They're just not carded. 
No. Well, that's why I ask them what they want. Unless we just want to finish up what's on the table. Just to clear it. Okay. Okay, we'll do another lot of Pokemon. It's fine. Um, not today. Tomorrow I will grab one of the boxes that looks like as loose photos in it. And we can do some of those. We can do some of those tomorrow. Got dirt on it. Okay, how are we going on solds? Sold, sold, sold the Connie M for two cents. Congratulations, Connie. Nice addition to any collection. Okay, I'm going to put this up as I'm doing. We have more posters. As, yes. I'm getting the, uh, as I'm getting the Pokemon together. Okay. Okay. Check here. I got it. Yep. All right, Tim, you're good to bed. Tim, you're good to go. Okay, so here's a lot of magazines. 1979 High Times with Debbie Harry, Shaka Khan, Nancy Wilson, Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Okay, Teen Beats Rock Stars. Number eight, first time ever exclusive picks of Kiss without their makeup on. Andy Gibb. Here's a Vibes, Paul McCarthy, Rick Nelson's Guitar Tips magazine, uh, January of 1979. So $10 start on the slot. Def Leppard, March of 1984. Police, Eddie Van Halen. Journey, Stray Cats, Iron Maiden, David Bowie, Michael Jackson, Rick Springfield, Robert Plant, and John Cougar Mellencamp. Here is a Debbie Harry Collector Society. Fan mail. Oh, this is actually cool. So you had to belong to, like, the Debbie Harry Club to get this. Talks about, like, bootleg CDs and everything. It's kind of interesting. So that's cool. We're seeing at 30. Women in Rock Circus, November 19th or July 7th, 1977. Pink Floyd, Bad Company, Ted Nugent, The Beatles, Van Morrison. Here's Cream. Not that kind, guys. July 1979. Cheap Trick. High Times, 1980. Another cream, Tom Petty, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Uhura. Look, that's what Ozzy Osbourne used to look like. The Who's Tommy Tommy Tommy: A Study Guide of American Musical of the American Musical. So this is from the Who's American Musical. Here is a press kit. From Blondie, no exit. So this has Blondie on Blondie. Here's lawsuits. Debbie Harry facts and questions. So that's kind of interesting. John Riley post or, uh, business card right there from Beyond Records for the Blondie. Press kit. So I'm going to put it all back in the tray. You guys will get to see it one last time. So Blondie Press Kit. High Times, July 1980 magazine. Tommy the Who's Tommy musical. Cream from April of 1983. Cream with a cheap trick on it from 1979. July 7th, 1977.
Women in Rock, Circus, Part 2 of Kiss in Japan, plus a free Kiss poster. Fan Mail, Debbie Harry Collector Society. Rock Fever, Def Leppard. Stray Cats, Eddie Van Halen, pictured. The Police. Vibes Magazine, January 1979. Teen Beats, Rock Stars, with Kiss. Color pinups of Rod Zorp, Andy, Led Zeppelin, Frampton, and others. And a High Times magazine. We're at 55 with Matt is the high bid. So we're at 55 looking for 60. Hopefully you guys are having a good time. If you get a chance, give us a thumbs up. Helps push us out there. We're going to try to grow the channel to at least 5,000 this next coming up year with a goal of hitting 10,000 subs. I have unlimited supply of merchandise that we can do at auctions, and I really do want to make this the only place that I'm selling and not list new items on other venues. Aloli at 70. <laughs> Had to do this every day, apparently. <laughs> Pat at 75, Purple Lily at 80. <laughs> I know. No, Mookie does, though. Mm -hmm. So we have Lily in at 80. <laughs> Um, Snapper, actually, we will not have one today. I will have one tomorrow. Matt is out. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it was just between Matt and Lily. Let's go ahead and call it sold. It's an 80 for Lily. Okay. Put this up here. Yeah, I have that the big box in the in the office. Yep. That we put together. We do the band tees individually because I have quite a bit of money invested into those. But we can definitely do some band tees tomorrow because we cleared off that table that we we're trying to get cleared off today. Yeah. So this poster is they made three hundred of this poster. It is numbered right here, 259 of 300, signed by Stainboy, great color, Dayglo paint. What, the accused or the cramps? I just grabbed this one because it was the biggest one. Since 22 inches tall, this had the most color, and that's why I grabbed this one. 22 by th almost 32. It's 22 by 31 and three quarters inches. It is signed and numbered $10 start. Suicide Machines, Avenged Sevenfold, Unseen Western Waste are your bands and the Suicide Machines. So awesome, amazing poster. Great colors, great graphics. And then I told him I'd do another Pokemon month. So good. Yep. Yeah, we'll definitely get some concert tees in tomorrow. Okay, 
35 with Midwest Picker, 37 with Shriker. And then I have a nice little lot of Pokemon cards for you guys. Next lot. Thirty-seven with Striker. Nice large posters. In person, it's a hundred times better than it is on camera. Yeah, it's definitely a cool poster. There's a. So we're at 40 with Russell. Strikers out. So we're at $40 with Russell Parker. Looking for any advance on 40. I was wondering how much money I had to pull out. <laughs> what you were doing. Lost my pen. <laughs> so we're at 40 with Russell. Looking for any advance. Looking for 42 or better, guys. Going once. Going twice. Now we're at $40 with Russell. I know we're at. <laughs> Spencer, the next lot, something that is good. <laughs> They sold. Sold, sold, sold. Let's sell it. Forty dollars. Sold, sold, sold. Russell Parker. Okay, here's the next lot. Ten dollar start, guys. I'll show you the shinies last. I'll show you the stack of cards first. Uh, I'm trying to do it where I can show. Geodudes from the Fossil line. This is from Fossil. Grimers. Horsey. Horsey. Goldine. I don't know which one that is from, what series that was, but that one. Slowpoke. Gasly's from Fossil. Cloyster, more horsey from Fossil. This is from Rocket. This is a little better. It's an Eevee. Magmar from Fossil. This is from Rocket. Ekans from Fossil. Holly Whirl, Whooper, here's a Gligar with the addition of one, the double white star, I don't know what series that is either. I guess I should have showed you guys if there was anything shadowless, I do know how to tell shadowless, but I wasn't really looking.
Dark Dragon Air from Team Rocket. There's a couple I saw that didn't have the, the rarity symbols. Oh, it's Jungle. Okay. Charmander from Rocket. Energy search. There's a bunch of those. You won't see any energies in here because I got rid of all of those. Zubats, Bell Sprout. Clooms, Oddish. Don't know what that is, Grum Pig. Okay. And then we'll do some shinies. Go. This is a Vaporeon. So Vaporeon shiny. Now this is, so the Aerodactyl that you guys saw early was a regular production one. This one's better. So this is Aerodactyl, but this is the pre-release. There you can see it's stamped pre-release, and it is the hollow foil pre-release of Aerodactyl. Here is a Gyarados hologram. That's supposed to be a good card. Number six of 102. So what? The Charmander? Yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah, I can go back and find Charmander. Here's Clefairy, Hologram. 112. We're at $18? Yeah, we're at 18 Oh my goodness. Definitely not doing a more Pokemon today. <laughs> so this is a hollow foil Rayquaza EX. So I'm supposed to be looking for a Charmander. Is that what they're asking me to look for? Okay. Is it this Charmander that I'm supposed to be looking for? So I think this is a good card. I know this is a good card, the Gyarados regular. And I know this uh, this Aerodactyl foil with the pre-release stamp are all good cards. Fences in a 60. Card hoarders are way behind. Yeah, it is 60 right now. The fairy foil. No ink blobs. What's an ink blob? Is that like the little spots? On the image, is that what they're meaning? The little dots. I thought this one was good. The Vaporeon in Japanese. Seventy card 
75 and um, and I see the corners and back of the pterodactyl. Yep. There's the the porion. Show you guys. This is gradable. Our horns at eighty. There also is letter and two fifteen head with eagle. Yeah, this one's gradable, I would say. Here's the back. Okay, thank you. Penny sleeved and carded. And I know the Gyarados is another good card, especially for the graded. I'll show that one too. So you get five foil cards and probably about a hundred other cards. Hard hoarders at one twenty. Okay. Andrew's out. <laughs> We're at 120, looking for 130 or better on the slot. It's a big goodbye for somebody. That Aerodactyl grades out, you know, a 9 or 10. It's real good money, and same with the Gyarados. I believe we're sold card hoarders at 120. Which one is this the one you wanted? Yeah, do that one. Pam keeps yelling at me for not for not putting this up. <laughs> she likes the monster ones. Okay, so this is number 129 of 150, ten dollar start. Diesel fuel, which is Stain Boy. He did not sign this one. It's just numbered. Wrecking Crew Studios. It is for the accused. Winter of Apocalypse and YOB. October 16th in 2004 at Dante's in Portland. Yep. Yes, Brian Maroney, it is Portland. It has the awesome graphics of some guy stabbing some other guy in the head. Has a little ripple to it right there, you can see. But easy to flatten. $10 start. Brian likes anything Portland. I 
sure I've ever done that. I could have picked you a couple. <laughs> <laughs> and I only have one of those, I think, unless I have, do I have more than one? I know I had it in color, like a color version of it. This is why this is end at 4 p.m. Brian never ends at 4 p.m., Pat. Very close to 4 p.m. Never. Oh, that's really nice, Brian. It gives the poster if you know the guy. There, so get some film if you want to. Pretty cool. Yeah. He knows the guy that runs Dante's. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pretty cool. So we're at 35 with Brian Maroney. <laughs> Spencer, you know what's really funny out of that collection? There was no Charizards. You know, obviously there's the Machamps, which have huge potential, but there was no Charizards. Okay. Scheduled at 4.15. Good luck. Pam leaves right at 4. <laughs> no, James, you do not. So as soon as you send us a registration and I have it in my inbox, you will be able you will be able to bid at any future auction as long as you're using the same user ID and you're subscribed to the channel. It'll give it'll leave you with a wrench unless I take it away from you. I don't know what you're talking about. I was here till four thirty yesterday, Scooby. You're lucky you're cute. <laughs> I was. <laughs> How about you go to my house and clean up the dog mess and I'll stay. <laughs> you're going to keep watching? <laughs> no, I'm going to go grab the dog's traps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't have a YouTube thing to watch. <laughs> Pam doesn't even have a YouTube account. No, I This is really not. funny. I think I might have just registered. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Shit's confusing me. Pam gets tube eight and YouTube mixed. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm trying to set one up so when we go down, I can look at my phone, but. I'm not going to touch any of those comments either. Be quiet, Brian. You can't use Hotmail on there. You have to have a Gmail to register. No, you don't. You can use any email address. I had an issue with it the other day when I tried. Yeah. I might have one now, so I'm not really sure. Okay, James, just make sure you send me an email directly to mrbyslot795 at gmail.com. Just say that your YouTube name <laughs> is James Well, your real name, and then your email address so I can send you invoices because we do not have you pay us up front. We send you invoices. I believe this is sold. Yes, it's sold. But I really like their fries. Spencer. Sold for thirty-five. Sold for thirty-five dollars. From where? RBC. Yeah. The cramps. This is Michael Michael motorcycle. I'm just trying to get this stuff off the table. This one is signed by him, Michael Michael motorcycle. This is number three thirty-six of three ninety-one. A uh, very, very, very minor ripple to it. Colors are better in person than they are on screen. Awesome monster graphics. I love this one. Yeah, this was at the Hollywood Athletic Club for the 8th Annual Halloween Masquerade Ball. It is 24 inches tall by 18 inches wide. It was the Cramps, Dinah Cancer, and the Grave Robbers, and then the Dead Billies. Awesome poster. It's got great graphics. Yeah, you have electric Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, you took down the mirror? No, that's me up. I put them <laughs> on the ceiling. <laughs> All my posters are on the ceiling. Zygon Tiger at 22. Okay, so we have 22 with Ti Zygon Tiger. We have 24 with Tony. 26 with Zygon.
What are you supposed to sell, Jackie? I think her Pokemon cards. Yeah. So we have 24 with Tony or with Zygon. We're 26 with Zygon. Yes. So we're looking for 28 or better on the original Cramps poster. It is signed and numbered by the poster artist who did it. It's a great size. Very cool poster. We're at 30 with Brian Maroney. Definitely want this one, Brian, if you don't have it. It's pretty cool. Zygon's in at 32. I'm going to make these two into one lot. Yeah, that way it's just kind of done. Here. On this one, I believe it's 2004, if I remember right. 2004. Oh, you have this one. Runs. I have it, but it's still bringing on it. Yeah, he resells them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is probably the cheapest we've ever actually sold one. Yeah, seriously. So we're at 37. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Shriker. Monster Shield. Going once. We're at 37 with Tiger. And then tomorrow, guys, we'll have some of the vintage movie posters. Um, actually, I'm, yeah, we'll have those up tomorrow. We'll have a large lot of posters. We'll have more Pokemon cards, more photo albums. I have a one of what? You want me to do an old poster now? Okay. Okay. Once I say sold, just move that out of the way and then sold, sold, sold. Okay, I'm going to do one now. Just do it now. <laughs> okay, so this is a 1955 original one sheet poster featuring Earl Flynn. Joanne Drew and Peter Finch in The Warriors. Super cool. It will come without all of this plastic and everything on it, just for shipping reasons, unless you are somebody who bought a bunch and want to get, want them shipped in these. Doing one doesn't make sense because I have to go and buy specific special boxes to send these flat. Taking the excess plastic baggie off of this because it looks so much better without it. Yeah. There you go. There you can see the color is much better. It will come folded the way it was originally sent. As you can see, there are fold lines in it. The Earl Flynn, Joe Andrew, Peter Finch, and the Warriors from 1955.
And there is no tape on it. Like you see this, this black electrical tape. It's actually on top of plastic. The guy kind of made his own frames like this because he was going to start putting the stuff into an antique co-op. But I'll remove all of that when we go to ship them to you. So 1955, $10 start. That's 17 with Dottie. Chris James at 22. Dottie at 24. So it's super cool because it's got Earl Flynn in it. Hello, flamingos. How's the puppies? Welcome back, Chris Chatworth. Oh, no, it's not Chris Chatworth. No, it's Chris James. It's Christina. No. I did see Chris James. I was mixing the oh. time. <laughs> Scotty at 28. So we're at $28 on the 1955 original one sheet movie poster. So we're at 28 looking for 30. If you guys need to know size, I can tell you size. It should be roughly 27 and a half, which it is. It should be 41 inches tall. Which, guess what? It's 41 inches tall. <laughs> it's a one sheet, so they're all pretty much standard sized. 27 and a half by 41 inches. Original one sheet from 1955 with Earl Flynn and Peter Finch in the Warriors. He's actually before my time, but I used to watch a lot of older movies. Down here? Or do you want to see? You want me to move some of the, uh, the tape? So like I said, the tape is on top of the plastic. That was his way of making the uh, makeshift frame. But here's what you're going to want to see. 55311 shows you the years 1955. It was the 311th movie registered that year. He is the original Robin Hood. Played a bunch of swashbuckler, uh, swashbuckler movies. Trying to get him the rest of the bottom. Country of origin, USA, right there. There's your bottom. And that's just to show you that, you know, the black edging is tape that's on top of plastic. That's how this guy framed everything. He just laid it on a piece of foam core board, covered it in plastic, and then taped it down without touching the, the actual poster itself. I bet it's Scotty with 32. Chris James at 34. So, 19, 1955. Scotty at 36. Yeah, it's, they're, almost everything that I have is American. <laughs> the list is much shorter to say what's not wrong with you so we're at 36 with Scotty oh yeah Mookie Pam was born in 1959 <laughs> it was not <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just playing, jeez. <laughs> She looks really good for her age. <laughs> she has no gray hair, and she works with me every day. It's I amazing. Actually, have gray hair. <laughs> well, not on your head. No, I have gray hair in my head from you. From me, <laughs> sure. Yep. It has nothing to do with your at-home husband. Uh -huh. So we're at thirty-six dollars, looking for thirty-eight. Let us know if you're out, Chris. Chris is out. Thank you. <laughs> I was born in 1977. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is why I fired the HR department. Sold, 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 I believe. I can fly. Yes. Marilyn Delgado, hopefully you're still around. I know she likes this tree. It's a jade tree. You sold, right? Yep. Yep. We're at Marmar's on the floor. We're going to turn these off. One day. <laughs> holiday. Not a holiday tomorrow. Look, I said we could have off on Friday. So here's a whole box of like cheese graters and graters and stuff full of one of those little machines just slide stuff across. I don't know what they're called. Heavy cast aluminum, instant cookies and patty shells. So these are like molds that you press down on over your cookies and your shells by Nordic Ware. Yeah, we got it. This is the last item anyway. I have no clue what this is for. Uh, $15 start on this lot, guys. It is two trays of stuff. So this is probably the coolest thing in this tray. Okay. Here is an early match case so you would put your matches in the top and they would slide down gravity fed and this one's actually pretty early i'll show you what's really cool about this is check out the back columbus specialty company it has all the advertising on the back so probably 40s so that's 10 here's a little Probably held liquor at some point. Really small hole in the top of it, or perfume, but I would say liquor. It's a stegosaurus glass from Welsh's. Here is going to be, can you bring me a garbage can then, or just dump this into a garbage can. Okay, there's a little ghost with a pumpkin. It's porcelain by Russ Company. Here is a mid-century modern little covered candy dish with geometric design. There's a marble. Here are two Pyrex bowls. Might have been. Two Pyrex dishes right here. This is a fishy planter. It's dirty inside. Um, it's marked Japan on the bottom. It has a crazed 
a crazy look on it. Don't know what this thing is. This is also marked Japan. I had it sitting in the top of the planner. Okay, so it's a fishy planner. Okay. $20. There's these two cats, and I think they're supposed to be glued together like this because of the way it looks. So I think they're supposed to be glued together like that. So the two cats. But then the best piece out of the lot is this awesome. So it's like a planter right there marked 30 and the number sign on the bottom. But it is like a jade tree. So these are like stone, like an agate pink and green tree. So like each one of the leaves is pretty intricate. But I think they're called jade trees. Let's see. And then each one of the little green leaves is actually like So that's what's cool out of the lot to me, anyway. I could be wrong. It could be the fishy thing could be really good. But I like the the tree and the old match gravity fed piece. Two kitties are cute. And then you obviously get the little cast aluminum set right there. And there's a couple little, couple more pieces that go to this lot, just because it's a nice big lot of miscellaneous. I was trying to get rid of all the miscellaneous, but the jade tree is awesome. And then there's this. This is a cast aluminum pan with like deer. This is by Griswold, so I think this is really rare. Aristocraft ware, but by Griswold Company. I think this is a really rare piece. From Erie, Pennsylvania. So Griswold Aristocraft. You got that? Oh, post guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry. They gave uh, the, the two touch drama, they gave us something extra. So she came and she made she forgot about it. So I'm picking up. Okay. All right. Yeah, he's he's scanning everything in, so I don't know why you would show up in a sports car to a business pickup though. She, he said that the girl forgot about it because they gave her uh, somebody else's route. So she had to do her route and somebody else's route. So his his supervisor sent him. Marilyn in at 75. And then there is this like, look, it looks like this. And then you wipe it off and it looks like that. It's like a lacquered wood tray. And this is marked on the bottom. Limited edition Otagiri, Japan. So limited edition Otagiri, Japan. I bid a 75 with Marilyn Delgado. Like I said, I think that Griswold piece is probably pretty rare. So 
So this is Otogari, Japan. That's how it looks. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a lacquered, like tiger wood. It's really cool. I, I why would a postman show up in a sports car to pick up like a commercial lot that we generally have at least a full bin? Yeah. I mean, he's literally putting stuff in his back seat of his car. Love it. Don't worry, everybody. None of these packages were yours. I promise. Can you hear me? Think so? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, Lenny. <laughs> So we're at 75 with Marilyn Delgado. Can you guys hear me? Uh, Marilyn said because he probably is. Oh, I was just saying that maybe the guy was being a show off to, uh, to drive his sports car over to pick up the stuff. Marianne, yeah. Can you guys hear me? I'm just making sure. Someone say, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> He's out there talking and stuff. No, he's on the phone with one of the other workers. <laughs> Testing. No, I think they can hear me. Huh? I think they can hear me. Said yes, but I'm not sure if that was yours. Yeah. yeah, Bruce said yes. Yep, they can all hear me. Okay. okay. <laughs> like I said, I, I think the best piece is probably this awesome thing, because this is great. I have 75 with Marilyn Delgado. And this is the last lot of the day, guys. Gonna count, it down. count it down. Okay. So we're going to be going once. And again, this is Griswold. Griswold Manufacturing Company. Aristocraft Wear. And this is huge. I mean, this is... So going once. Mookie. Go in twice. I believe we are going to be sold. So are we sold to Maryland? Yes. Maryland for 75, I think. Yes, Maryland for 75. 75. Yep. That's it. Sold to Marilyn Delgado. Sorry, Jill. Tomorrow, be here one to four. One to four tomorrow, Jill. So, again, thank you guys, everybody. Everybody who participated, thank you all. Make sure you guys share out. We're going to get a bunch more people. And we're going to bring awesome stuff to the auction. Pokemon cards, vintage movie posters tomorrow, and a bunch of the old photographs from the 1800s and albums and stuff like that. We got through a bunch of stuff today. Thanks to you guys. You're all awesome. Hope everybody's feeling great. And doing well. Have a great night, guys. We will talk to everyone tomorrow, 1 till 4. Bye. Bye.